No, not this again. Oh, there's no time. There must be some kind of strategy that works better. Probably just don't attack at these times, for the most part. Oh. It probably requires you to be a bit more patient. But gosh, I'm going to have to use a second potion. Probably. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh! Take that, me, evil clone me. That's a reference that not many people will get, probably. It's over risky. You fool! You would destroy your superior half in exchange for the town full of simpletons. This town full of simpletons. Enjoy your victory. It's only temporary. The last laugh will be mine. Ho ho ho! No, look. <laughs> ah, you're gone. And I was the last one to laugh. Piece of shit. Uh, Gentry, you've won! Uncle, my magic! Gone! You're human now. There, there, everything's gonna be okay. Uncle, what about my hair? What? This isn't time for that. I don't know why it chooses to obey. Perhaps it's not genie magic, as I once suspected. <gasps> it's hair magic! Perhaps that part of you doesn't come from your mother! Your mother. I've let her and everyone else down all because of my foolishness. It's not your fault, Uncle. The danger was always out there. I was the one who rushed in unprepared. Excuse me, I was very prepared. I had everything. Anyway, let's get out of here. The others will want to know you're safe. Go then. Oh, we're gonna magical fade teleport out of here. Oh, everyone's here. Look at all the voices I'll have to do. So all along, Risky had us. Oh, had us thinking that the lamp was the weapon. When her real scheme was to get her grabby bits on your magic, it took nerves of steel to do what you did. Destroying your magic half was pretty gutsy. That doesn't look like she'd have that voice, but whatever. But who needs magic first? Oops. Oops. Something first thing in the morning training again. Something like that, probably. And this time I'll teach you some human moves. Like hair whippage again. Thanks everyone, but still, I feel farther from my mother, from my true home, than ever before. Deep down, I want to keep trying, but I'm useless without my magic. Not really, you just be a genie, and you're human. How is that useless? Oh shit, it's him. Ooh, nonsense. Miss Genie, I'm ashamed of myself for behaving so badly. And it's clear that you love this town and will defend it to the end. That's why I'd like you to return as Scuttletown's guardian. Will you take a job? You take me back even without my genie magic? Absolutely, I'm going to have a talk with the Elmo Baron and get our town back to normal lickety split. I lick a slit? Oh. You will? Yes, yes, I'll do it. I'll protect this place with everything I've got. Even your boobs. But I won't do it alone anymore. We all love this place and we'll defend it together as a team. And I promise that from now on, I won't be too proud to take help from others, especially you guys. Evil never rests. Risky Boots and her Tinker Bats are still out there. Oh! And Rotty Tops and her brothers too. Things will be different from now on. Whistly woof. Yeah, but as long as we stick together, Evil doesn't stand a chance. Huh. <laughs> boing, but boing, boing. Everyone's wiggling to the music. Shante most of all. Even the... Whatever they're called. Weather vane? Yeah. Don't say vane. Oh, it's an anime intro. Whoa! I don't think there's this many layers of clouds in real life. We'd be in space long ago. Oh. Oh, there's the sun. Ready to blind us. Oi! Fade out fully. 
thanks. Ah. Well, there you go then. Not a super long game. It'd be even shorter if you weren't so... so completionist like I am. But yeah, bloody good game. It's one of those games that's like... It's... You know, if you stock up on millions of potions, as in nine of each, you're not going to have a hard time at all. It's a very easy game. But like, oh, honk! That was my elbow on the desk, by the way, it wasn't a fart. Yeah. Like, it can be an easy game if you just buy loads of stuff. Because you get far more than you would ever need. But yeah, lots of nice little secrets to find. Well, not necessarily lots, but... It's a short game, and there's a lot for what content there is, yeah. As in the size of the world, there's a lot in it. Anyway, graphics, well you can't really say much, can you, because it's pixely art. So you can't rate it fairly, but it's very nice pixel art. And they're all very smooth, well-animated animations. So it's very delicious. So I won't give it a score. You can't really compare it to like AAA modern day games, but it's very nice. Uh, audio, music's very addictive, I love it. And the sounds, yeah, they're all fine. The music, I guess it's like purposely made to sound like a Game Boy Advance. Which is kind of cool. I, I kind of have a, uh, it's mostly nostalgia that makes me like it, I think. But, um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I've got a I've got a new achievement. That looks like fan art. Completionist. Yeah. Go away now. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's take a... Oops. No. Oh, no. Well, there's probably no point, really, is there? No, she'll be wearing something else, but we won't really get to the gameplay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give the music and audio and all that, as in the audio. Probably a 9, really. Oh, look! Look at the graphics! Anyway, yeah. There's a, there's a hell of a lot of detail, you know? Wait. Wait, I was talking about the music. Sorry, yeah, the music. Do I have any? No. Yeah, I guess I'll give the audio probably a 9, because the music's just so good. Gameplay. I do love me some Metroidvanias. As it's cool. It's just a cool little game. Not super long, but it's long enough. And you know, you got you got all the hidden stuff to find, and you've got this optional hard mode or whatever. And stuff. Yeah, it's a nice little explore. And it's just fun to play, really. Little puzzles and stuff. I don't need to explain it. You've watched the playthrough. I'll give the gameplay an 8. Because I think some of the platforming controls could be a little bit more... I don't know, not responsive, but... A little bit more... Solid? I don't know. It's like not perfect is what I'm trying to say, but it's really good. Give it an eight. But overall I think I'll give yeah, I think I'll give this game an eight overall. Good fun. Nice quick game to replay if you feel like having some platform arenas. Light dungeon puzzle solving. And that's about it, so yeah, I'm gonna give this game an eight. Especially with that cute snake head thingy. Snake. Snake on her head. As in what she's wearing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I'm not going to get to anything else, so there's no point, is there? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And see you next time, when, whatever game that will be. Bye. Let, let's see the snake. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. Bye. Grump. Well, I didn't talk about lifespan or story. Yeah, story's good. You know, it's nothing special. Evil person wants wants these little trinkets to unlock ultimate power. Yeah, typical evil person. 
and lifespan is short, but you know, it's like a little collectibles to find. It's like a Metroid kind of game. It can be quick, or you can go for a hundred percent, and there's like different endings you can get or something. I don't know. Apparently, there's like three or four different endings. Whatever. Bye.